All right, what's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today I've brought out my new Rock Pirates RC Interceptor chassis build, and this one is on capper axles with an axial three gear transmission. This truck is awesome. I've also got it on 2.2s right now with my own cut and shut tires that are sometimes available on my website. I, I can barely keep up with you guys. You guys are animals. You guys love those things. You buy them as quick as I can make them. I greatly appreciate the support, but that just means that they're on back order a lot of the time. So be sure to check out the website, stay up to date there. So this is the truck we're going to be running and gunning today. This one has a Proline cliffhanger body on it. Again, it's got axial capper axles, spec RC 2.2 inch wheels. Oh yeah, those things are awesome. It's running a brushless system and a Savix 1212 servo in here right now. I recently just got this all done up and it looks pretty dang good compared to most of my other rigs because they always get beat up after running them out on the trails. Let's hit the rocks and see how she does today. We have got Sydney out here today running around with us. She is my trail buddy. And we've got the truck. We're gonna go ahead and jump into this obstacle. This is not technically part of my risk trail, which is this is what we're going to be running today, but it's a fun obstacle, it's close by, and uh, it always tests any vehicle you point at it, so it's all about the right line choice and not letting that rear tire slip in too far, which it's doing right now. Yep. No surprise, I could see that it was not going to work. And then you can't go too far because then it doesn't work the other way. So yeah, nice fine balance of hitting just that perfect mark. Now we had it for a second. Well, that was a uh, pretty wild show there. But there we go, gonna get it done. And head on out. Now we can go hit the risk trail. Now we got warmed up on this hard line. All right, we are greeted by the first big slippery wall. Every time it's winter out here, the water and whatnot washes sand across this face and makes it super slick. Luckily, our tires are hooking up quite well today. Those Proline Crawler G8s again cut and shut, meaning that I actually cut the tire and inserted more tire into it to make them taller. And they certainly do the part. They work awesome out here on the rocks. Now it's been a while since I've actually featured this trail on the channel. It's, it's been a long time, but I've got quite a few videos on it. Lots of other trucks to compare this against. And uh, it's usually one of my main trails that I like to take a new build out on. It's just got a lot of varied terrain, weird obstacles, a lot of good stuff to see uh, and really test the truck, see how it does. Now this is my second run with this truck. So I already know that this thing is capable of some pretty awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and chase it over here. It does have a brushless system in here. It is a Hobbywing Axe and it is the 3300 KV with a 550 cam. So this is the big motor in here, lots of wheel speed, which with all the gear reduction from that axial three gear going into Capra portals, you can go ahead and throw a lot of motor at it and it still creeps and crawls great due to lots of gearing reduction. Getting a little offline where we want to be. That back right tire got trapped and just didn't want to go up where we wanted it to. Now it should rotate and pull the truck up right here. Right there it should go. Again, it's pretty cool over here, a little slippery. Had somewhat recent rainfall within the last week and a half, and that usually kills the traction for quite a little while out here. So we'll take a different approach, come up across this wall in a little more flat area. Still not an easy climb. I've never made this climb and I don't expect this truck to do it, but we can always square up to it and see how she does. As you can hear there, need to trim this body just a little more. Now one of the things holding the front end planted is D's company, D's bands. They are an elastic band that uh, basically compress your shock, similar to how pen spring mod works. However, that does not affect your overall travel of your shocks. It's an elastic band, kind of like slapping a rubber band on there, but they are specifically tuned to the length of your shock. And you can order them in all sorts of different awesome colors and different length options. Small business, you just got to message Dustin through Facebook or Instagram. You can find it on there under D's company. So be sure to check them out. 
Now this Rock Pirates Interceptor chassis is red, which is one of their limited edition colors. They had red and blue. And at the time of releasing this, there may or may not be something new in the Interceptor lineup coming down the pipeline very soon, meaning maybe maybe there's gonna be more colors soon. You guys will have to check out Rock Pirates RC website if you're interested in picking up some new colors of their chassis. I grabbed this red one, and originally I had a bright orange body painted for this truck and decided, you know what, I need to change it up. The orange and red don't go together. I want a body specific to this Interceptor, and that's what we did. And then some days there's rigs that'll just walk this. Okay, just use a little throttle. That's not the line I normally go for. Take this left turn, gonna utilize all of our articulation. See if we can get our belly up and across here. Very nice. The skid plate I'm using in this truck is a Vanquish Origin skid plate. That's got the axial three gear bolt pattern and has the upper and lower link mounts for the links. The links are high clearance links. They are stainless from Hardcore RC. Now the water here will completely destroy this stacked rock setup up here. So before I started this video, I came in and restacked all these, but I have no idea if it's going to work. We're gonna see what the truck wants here in a second. But without stacking rocks, this spot is absolutely impossible. So it's always a game of seeing if you know how to stack a few rocks while also squeezing a truck through this really cool formation. Call it the toilet bowl. All right, we're getting a good pinch there. I'm liking how it's shaping up. Our front left tire getting a little bit trapped on the left ledge. Making progress, I like where it's going. So typically I like to get up here and then turn and wrap the rear end in and hope this front end bites and pulls the truck up. Come on. Now that rear end got a little too trapped underneath there. And now the rock's shifting lower. Maybe some throttle here. so close if this rock stack was just a touch taller now we're creating a hole on that back left tire as it pivots around well that didn't work toilet bowl wins today my rock stacking my rock stacking is not on point apparently so here we go Right after that, you're met by a big steep climb. Man, that made that look easy. I've got a lot of trucks that take multiple tries and flip over backwards all the time. D's bands definitely helping out right there. Sydney hanging out here on the cliff edge of risk. I think we're gonna do something wild here, guys. I think we're gonna try and turn down off the ledge on the cliff side of risk. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna crank into it right here. Feeling pretty good about it. Yeah. I mean, we are inches from 20 feet down. I knew this truck would handle it. The wide capper axles, low center of gravity, just the way this thing handles overall. I really, it really came quick that I trusted this truck. It, I really like the way it handles and feels. It's very familiar very quickly. Now, one of the reasons it may seem familiar so quickly to me is that my old Rock Pirates RC Pirate Wagon was a Rock Pirates RC equipped SCX-10 II, and I've had it on capper axles multiple times. And this truck uses the same shock tower geometry for suspension setup as that old 10 II had, and it's on capper axles as well. So maybe that's why. Really risky line. I think it easily flip off the cliff. 
yeah tires hooked up got it done super sketchy like no joke that's a legit line this truck just stuck it out and made it look easy got sydney running around down there show you how far away that drop is so here we go i'll show you guys the normal line and then i'll show you the line that i like to take the capable vehicles up so this is more of the normal line it's about a curb height tall and you can use this ledge up here to turn and use for traction and pull the rear of the truck up all is well all is good and it made it look easy so let's turn it up a notch we're gonna go up a bigger climb over here and just a big wall shoot let's see if the truck wants to stick it and then we can go up the steepest part right over the gnarliest ledge and again made it look easy that is not an easy climb this truck is just really planted it just climbs great I'm really liking it one of the most common questions on my cut and shut tires i get is what inserts do i use well in this truck i have inserts from sl 3d rc which is a 3d printed tire insert that's the company name is sl 3d they're out of montana neil over there was kind enough to have me send in a sample tire and he made a set specifically for my cut and shuts so thank you very much neil i greatly appreciate it they're called squid inserts so pretty dang awesome they've got a cool proprietary design they've got excellent anti side hill roll and then they're also nice and soft for getting good traction on the hard climbs and they've been tested in hot weather, cold weather. Today's pretty chilly, nothing like the negative 30 to negative 50 that Neil's up in in Montana right now. But uh, yeah, they're holding up, they're doing great, and I've really enjoyed the performance in my cut and shut tires. So check out SL3D RC. All right, friends, the reason I went all the way over there and up is because it gives me the correct setup for this next obstacle. This one is challenging, and I was fighting with it with my capper the other day. And with how wide this truck is without rear steer, it's all very important to get the right setup. So you have to drive into that wedge in the back corner there, but I can't drive completely up the wedge, so I use it to help me rotate. And you can see the front end I turn too much the truck gets light and wants to flip over so we'll take a small reverse here the goal is to try to keep the tire on top of this ledge up here so this is right about there but then i also want to get that bottom tire to catch that rock ledge right here and pull and push the truck up so we're going to start a rotation maybe go straight for a second turn it Back left's gonna drop in the hole. It's gonna pull our front end on top of this ledge a little more than we're gonna want here. The inside of the front passenger is gonna hold it. Is it gonna stick? The front end ended up too far on top of the ledge. It's not where I wanna be, but I'm seeing if it can drive it out. Our back has moved along the ledge into a bad spot. It's going to want to flip over backwards here in a second. So let's take a reverse. It's going to want to flip. So like I said, hard line, definitely got to get it right. Let's try a different viewpoint. This is usually where I sit to crawl it so I can see my the points I kind of want to nail. Got hung up on the axle way less on that one. I'm gonna take a small reverse. This line is just kind of necessary to do it. I end up with the rear tire just a little lower. Back left dropped in the hole. Truck stayed planted that time. The front end didn't shift over like last time. And that should be the difference to allow us to come up and across and on top of this awesome obstacle. One of my favorite climbs on this trail for sure. And then it leaves you all side hilled, which this truck can handle, not an issue. Continuing on up this line, gonna really try and crank that front end across. 
get it to climb this ledge without unloading on us. Lifting front tire. A little servo wiggle, taking my finger off the throttle. And then lightly landing the throttle. If you go too heavy, it'll flip it right over. Yeah, I got a hold of that top ledge. And we're just gonna kinda go straight. This gives us perfect belly clearance. Right up both ledges at the same time. And she's out. That's a fun one. Never even tried this approach before. Neither has Sydney. Watch out, pup. So we're gonna, I mean, there's a good chance we're just gonna end up rolling, but maybe if we can get our belly squared up in here decent, get those front tires to actually touch something on the way down. This truck has been really good at crazy steep descents, which is funny. Oh, I don't want that front end to unload on me. All right, little throttle, but we got it done. First time doing that line, that was cool. All right, really cool little line here as part of the risk trail. It's one of my favorite trails to go out and show my friends as well. If they're new to the area and just want to go out and RC crawl, I like to take them up this. Lots of challenges and uh, lots of different lines for different capability level of trucks. So this one's super capable. That's why I'm trying the alternate lines everywhere. But if you got even just a stock rig, you can come out on this trail and have a good time. No matter how capable my rig is, I always come back and hit this line. It's just fun. The entrance has changed over time, but the ending is always the same. Yeah, Rock Pirate Sliders. Doing Rock Pirate Slider things. But just a simple little up left hand turn. Still just a cool little obstacle. I've always liked how that looks. It's just fun to drive. Well guys, this is my Rock Pirates Interceptor on capper axles. I've still got the Vanquish based class two style truck. Sydney. This is the end of the video. You gotta say goodbye to your friends. Say goodbye to your fans. Just nothing but silence on that one, huh? Way to go, leaving them in the dark. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate your time. My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. I will leave links to Rock Pirates down below, to SL3D, to D's company. These are small time businesses of just guys like you and I who enjoy RC crawling. Be sure to check them out. Be sure to support them because they're awesome. If you guys are doing online shopping and you're going through A-Main or Horizon, if you use one of my affiliate links, it kicks a couple bucks my way. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps support me out here on the channel. We will see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.